Hey, welcome back. Ready for awesome results with simple instructions in our fifth tutorial? Let's get started. Vector Plane XZ Plane This is the X axis. This is the Z axis. This is the XZ plane we created. Now, let's create a surface using this plane. Surface Primitive Plane surface Our default plane is the world XY plane. Therefore, we created a horizontal surface located at the origin. Connect the planes. We created a vertical surface using the XZ plane. Let's turn off the planes preview. Right click. Preview. Let's continue by setting the X size and Y size of our surface. Double click on the grasshopper canvas. 20.0 Connect to the X size. While dragging the slider, press the Alt key once to duplicate the slider. Connect to the Y size. Double click on the number slider to edit its value. 35 Double click on the number slider to edit its value. 50 Let's learn how to create random points on a surface. Vector Populate 2D This tool allows us to generate random points on 2D regions. We have generated random points, but we will use the surface we created as the region. Connect the plane to the region. Now, let's adjust the number of points we have created. Count, 100. 50. Connect to the count. One hundred. Let's take a look at the seed input as well. The seed input controls the random point generation, so changing its value gives us different point distributions. Ten. Connect to the seed. Each time we change the number, we obtain a different point distribution. Let's learn how to create a Voronoi diagram using the points we generated. Mesh. Voronoi We will connect the points we generated to the points input. Connect the population to the points. We'll define the edges of our surface as the boundary for the Voronoi cells. Connect the plane to the boundary. Select the component. Use the Ctrl plus Q shortcut to disable preview. Select the component. Control plus Q. We created 100 closed polylines. Let's create surfaces using these polylines. Surface. Boundary surface. Connect the cells to the edges. We created surfaces from closed polylines using the boundary surface component. Now, Let's add thickness to the surfaces using the extrude component. Freeform Extrude Connect the surfaces to the base. We will use the unit Y vector to extrude the surfaces in the Y axis. Vector Vector Unit Y Connect to the direction. Use Ctrl plus Q to hide the base surfaces. Ctrl plus Q. Let's use the custom preview tool for visualizing the extruded surfaces. Display. Custom preview. Connect the extrusion to the geometry. Let's use a color swatch to apply colors. Params. 
Input. Color swatch. Connect to the material. Change the color. Factor, 1. The surfaces has been extruded by 1 unit. 2.0. Connect to the factor. The surfaces are extruded in the plus y direction. To extrude in the opposite direction, we need to reverse the vector. Let's take a closer look at this. Control plus Q. The y-axis points forward, plus, and backward, minus. And the z-axis points up, plus, and down, minus. The x-axis points to the right, plus, and to the left, minus. Use the control plus Q to enable the preview. Now let's learn how to reverse a vector. 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 Reverse. Connect the unit vector to the vector. Plus Y vector. Minus Y vector. Connect the vector to the direction. Great, we've accomplished this as well. Now, let's make the design more interesting by extruding each surface with a different random value. Delete. Sets. Random. Let's view the numbers we generated using a panel. Params. Panel. Connect the random to the panel. Number, 1. Let's start by determining how many numbers we want to generate. 5. Connect to the number. We generated 5 random numbers. Now, let's define the range for the numbers. The range input defaults to 0 to 1. Let's redefine the range using a panel. Panel. Double click on the panel to edit. 5. Space. 2. Space. 10. Click on an empty area of the canvas. Connect to the range. We generated 5 random numbers between 5 and 10. Connect the random to the factor. Hmm, we've generated too few numbers for the surfaces to extrude. We have 100 planar surfaces. However, we only have 5 numbers. By connecting the slider we've attached to the count input also to the number input, we can generate a random number for each surface. Connect the slider to the number. Looks good. We have generated 100 random numbers between 5 and 10. Now, let's look at a more flexible way to control the number range. Delete. Delete. Maths. Construct domain. Connect to the range. Zero. Less than. 3.00. Minimum. Zero. Maximum. 3.00. Connect to the domain start. Domain. 0 0.52 to 1. While dragging the slider, press the Alt key once to duplicate the slider. Connect to the domain end. 
0.50. Delete. Domain end, 2.50. Domain start, 1.00. Finally, let's convert our grasshopper model into a rhino model. Right click on the geometry. Bake. Group, yes please. Click OK. Select the rhino model. Move. Let's create another example by changing the parameters. Population. Point count, 36. Right click on the geometry. Bake. Group, yes please. Click OK. Select the Rhino model. Move. Perspective. Monochrome. Thanks for watching, see you in the next tutorial.